Well, welcome to another uh, Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 104. Uh, two years today, the year in review, the, the mega gala two-year anniversary of Memphis Monday. Today we're going to go through all 52 projects, um, picked out clips from all 52 episodes, and we'll go through all the... Uh, all the different projects I think it's gonna be pretty fun so let's knock off that chit chat and start How doing some editing another Memphis Monday uh, we got our sliding shelves on our old workbench uh, completed and we were able to uh, put a little finish on it and I still have to put some uh, polyurethane on it but they usually take several days because you gotta let it dry and then sand it and dry and okay next it. thing I want to talk about is uh, shop organization and if you've been watch, watching my videos uh, for a while, you'll notice that uh, it never looks the same. And the reason it never looks the same is because just about everything. Well, well I guess that'll, that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. Uh, we cleaned up this ratty corner we discovered last uh, week during our shop tour. Uh, we built us some uh, uh, racks to hold some uh, uh, clamps and well there's our new uh, hammer with uh, our antique uh, head. Well there she is works good feels good but most of all it looks real cool okay here we go How we built this little uh, tiny plant uh, dolly with a little uh, removable handle and how we built this oak handle for the tool cabinet right here and how we, we uh, uh, reinstalled the head on this. Well, I guess that'll about do it. Uh, Spindle sanded table with uh, a built-in uh, dust collection system. Well, we're we're back where we started. Uh, we got our both chairs fixed. Uh, we completely rebuilt this one. Um, made a whole new back. Uh, that one back there, we just uh, overhauled it. Well, there she is, uh, standing tall, is the uh, mailbox. Well, now you gotta admit, you didn't think, you didn't think this baby was going up on that dolly that second time, did you? You didn't think my plan would work. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was about ready to use the old hatchet here. Well, there they are, and I got a couple more over there. <clears throat> this is all I'm going to do today. I'm going to uh, work with these and see if they see if they hold up and it's what I want, and if the design oh, turns out to I be want legit. This thing. I want this thing to hook on. So probably right Check about there. Check out my there. new blackboard. The uh, blackboard 
uh, sits in the stand. It's uh, freestanding. I can move it anywhere I want. I can All flip right, it over. Uh, let's go turn the power on and see if this thing works. Okay, there we are, our completed gate. We got our gate in. We, uh, we put a terminal post in four feet into the ground, but you'll never see that again. And importantly, we retensioned we retensioned our fence. Okay, I'm going to uh, the temperature got down to about 140 on the in the steamer and I got it coming back up to speed now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, continue to steam this thing well, for there's about our an little hour. Windsor uh, bow style uh, side chair got hard maple spindles soft wood uh, for the seat in this case I used aspen a steam bent bow out of uh, oak there we go I'm uh, I'm pleased with it considering First time I've ever used milk paint. Well, there's our shaker inspired work table. 24 inches wide, 47 inches well, long. Well, there's the prototype. And there's the, uh, the copy we made today. I guess if you're going to copy something, you might as well. Uh, Try to make it as, as exact as possible. Well, there we have it, our computer desk. Hundred percent oak, except for that drawer, right? That center drawer has got poplar in it. This is uh, this is poplar. Well, there she is, all finished. Really, a two-part two-part job. Um, first part was to disassemble and dispose of that old chain link fence and second part of the job was to install those 22 uh, vertical uh, oh, fences looking pretty good. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to take this piece of felt and glue it in the bottom of the box. Well, there's our wainscot job all finished. And, the TV and there's our shotgun stock made out of uh, firewood. That's really the first uh, complete stock I've ever made. Well, there it is, our shotgun display case. Turned out okay, I guess. Well, there's the whole project. It's uh, almost like having your tools stored right out in the open with the advantages you can uh, you can button it all up and put everything away. <clears throat> Good morning and uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday, Memphis Monday 86. Well, there's our chair. I don't have to worry about jumping up and down like a uh, jack-in-the-box when I do grilling because that'll be my new grilling chair and I got this bonus of uh, nothing wrong with the uh, prototype back well, there's our tall. belt sander table with uh, 
built-in dust collection. Got a little access door here for the motor. Uh, nice big drawer here for storage. All right, there's our little trifecta of tables, our spindle sander, belt sander, and then our latest addition, our sander for our scroll saw. It's got well, there's uh, a nice little uh, cedar box. Got the dovetail showing here in the front. Uh, I didn't put the handle on it yet because I don't like this handle we put on the there she prototype. is 39 inches tall got my small uh, belt sander on it got five drawers 100% uh, pull out 75 75 pound test two small drawers these are four inches and three six inch drawers I don't know uh, do you think I have enough storage here all right, uh, one final look at our fence. There's our five foot gap. Let's go outside and look at the outside of it. Well, that'll do it for another Memphis Monday. Uh, real satisfied with our work. Uh, pretty much a copy on the uh, copy of the prototype we did last week. Well, there's our uh, there's a rocking chair in its natural habitat. I brought it inside so I wouldn't mess it up out in the shop. Uh, I didn't refinish it. I didn't, uh, I didn't overhaul it. All I did was replace the rocker and replace the seat. <coughs> that does it for another uh, Memphis Monday. Looks like our Camp stool, shop stool combination, 100% oak. Um, Today we're going to build okay. this uh, nice little oak case to uh, store these little essential oil bottles. Made out of oak. Looks pretty good. Well, there's our little uh, baby chair. We fixed the bracket. We fixed the decal. We replaced, we replaced the uh, arms. We replaced the hardware. Um, so you can take this thing on and off. Well, there's our 1920 Ithaca shotgun. Got our new stock on there. I didn't have your, I was supposed to make it uh, out of walnut, but I couldn't find any, so I got me some hard maple. Well, I guess that'll do it for another uh, Memphis Monday. A uh, pretty important uh, anniversary uh, occasion. We went through all the projects, uh, and I think interestingly, uh, as I watched it, I was kind of interested in it myself. We saw the, we, we saw the episode where I first uh, found my, paper hat in the fence repair video, uh, our high deck chair, chalkboard, the birth of uh, our hatchet here, all of our, uh, our cabinets over there for our tools, all our new stuff, our cabinets back uh, in the back, our slide outs. So I think uh, this year we made uh, quite a bit product quite a bit of progress uh, not only on the shop but we also uh, did some pretty uh, uh, stretch project for me uh, the uh, uh, I worked over a, I made uh, two Windsor bowback chairs 
I repaired two other uh, Windsor chairs. Uh, I re uh, repaired a um, an antique high chair, uh, a, an antique uh, rocking chair that was uh, like a hundred years old. Made two gun stocks, so I think we did. Uh, I, th I think we did uh, okay this year, and hopefully next year we'll do even better with your help. So I guess I'm gabbed enough, up enough, uh, but uh, so I need for you to uh, like and comment and share and comment and and Facebook and like and all that stuff and and is that all? Yeah, I think it is. Nope, nope. One more thing. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday. We start year three next week. Thanks for watching.